Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shelly and I'm very excited to talk about mineral sunscreens today. I have received requests to post a mineral sunscreen video for quite some time now and it was definitely something that I wanted to do but I wanted to give myself some time to try out a few different mineral sunscreens before I went ahead and made this video. And also I am someone who wears sunscreen on a regular basis, especially on my face. So I had quite a few sunscreens that I was already using and trying to finish up before I purchased a few different mineral sunscreens. So I decided that I wanted to try three different sunscreens that I will be talking about in this video. And I have had a chance to try each of these out at least a few times. I tried to use them for about two weeks or so um, every single day just to see how I like them. So here are the three sunscreens that I'll be talking about today. I have this one from Hero. It's their super light sunscreen. It says four shield on it, SPF. 30. This one from Kinfield. This one is their Daily Dew Sea Kelp Moisturizer Plus Sunscreen SPF 35. And this one here is from Dr. Jart. It's their Every Sunday Mineral Sunscreen in SPF 50. So I did make a short list of a few items I'll be covering for each of these sunscreens in this video. So first I'm going to be talking about price point. Then we're going to go into packaging and the size of the product, like how many fluid ounces you receive, um, what the SPF level is, how I found the product and my overall thoughts about how I liked each product. So the first one I'm going to start with is this one by Dr. Jart. This is actually the first one that I tried. So I picked this one up from Sephora during a Sephora sale with some other items so I could get a discount on it. And so going right into those few items that I mentioned, so as far as price point, the Dr. Jart Every Sunday Mineral Sunscreen is $40. This is a 1.69 fluid ounce container. As far as the packaging goes, I would say it feels really solid and high quality. To me, this packaging feels super sturdy and I really like how the lid like locks into place like that so you know it's securely closed i definitely would feel safe like traveling with this like putting this in my bag and i wouldn't be worried about the cap coming off and sunscreen going everywhere and this is an spf 50 plus i usually buy sunscreen somewhere around like 40 to 50 spf on average i'd say that's typically what i end up purchasing so this is pretty right on track with um something that i would purchase on the back it says active ingredients are zinc oxide and titanium dioxide so I will just show you on the back of my hand what this sunscreen looks like. So as you can see, it is a white consistency. I feel like I didn't have any issues um, rubbing this in to my skin on my face. You can see that it rubs in pretty nicely. There's a little areas that had a little bit left that I need to rub in, but yeah, this is what it looks like on the back of my hand. Um, a little bit of a sheen, just kind of like, you know, any other sunscreen or even moisturizer might do, but um, I can't detect any sort of cast or anything like that. I do feel like the sunscreen absorbs into my skin very nicely. So as far as how I found this product, I initially started doing my research on mineral sunscreens and ones that I might be interested in purchasing on the Sephora website because they do have quite a variety on there. And I did see some others that I'd be interested in trying in the future and Dr. Jart is a pretty popular brand I would say based on what I've noticed on Sephora and I have been interested in trying some other Dr. Jart products it's just that I haven't gotten around to doing that just yet like there's a moisturizer that I'm curious about I just kind of feel like there are tons of beauty skincare products out there and I just kind of get distracted like sometimes I have a hard time choosing what I want to try next I feel like that's probably something that happens to a lot of us and so that's just the reason why I haven't tried any Dr. Jart products until now I was like this is a great opportunity I want to try out some mineral sunscreens Dr. Jart is a brand that I've been interested in trying so why don't I pick up their mineral sunscreen and see how it goes so my overall thoughts about this particular sunscreen is that I felt like this sunscreen felt very familiar to me I have definitely used other very similar consistency sunscreens in the past. Ones that look like traditional sunscreen that come out of the package in sort of like a white creamy consistency. I feel like generally in the past it was something that I was a little bit nervous about. I'd want to say like maybe 10 years ago that was not really a sunscreen formula that I would have gravitated to or purchased. I really did like back then those ones where it was really liquidy and you would have to like shake it up in the bottle before using it. But something that I noticed over time is that my skin tended to get like a little bit 
bit drier in certain areas so I felt like a creamier sunscreen um, kind of like this consistency would be a little bit better for me I haven't had any experience with sunscreen drying my skin out but it was just something that I thought would maybe help me out a little bit throughout the day so the next sunscreen that I'll be talking about is this one from Kinfield I hope I'm saying the brand correctly but if I am not saying it correctly please feel free to let me know down in the comments below this is their daily do sea kelp moisturizer plus sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 35 the active ingredient in here is zinc oxide and a few things that it points out on the packaging is it looks like it's geared towards more active activities outside it says sport ready it also mentions that it's water resistant and that it is reef safe the price point on this is $24 this is a two ounce um, tube so this is actually the largest sunscreen size by a little bit out of all of the three I feel like the packaging looks pretty standard it's kind of similar to the Dr. Jart with the twist off cap like that and it does also securely lock into place I feel like because this product seems to be geared towards someone who is active and on the go this is likely something that someone might want to carry around in their bag with them so like I mentioned the SPF on this product is 35 and how I found it I found it on a Google search I was just you know like I mentioned browsing the Sephora website for different types of mineral sunscreens that might be sold there but I also kind of wanted to go outside of just you know what's on these popular beauty brand websites that a lot of us purchase things from and thought I would look for something different and that's how I found this one all right so I'm gonna switch hands now and I will put a little bit on this side and show you how it rubs in so this one looks similar to the dr. jart but it is a little thicker and you do need to work it in a little bit more than the Dr. Jart. I feel like there is a little bit of a white cast um, on my arm here, and I feel like this might be a better indicator or show a white cast uh, more than my face because I am a little bit tanner on my arms, but um, actually now it's gone away now that I've rubbed it in quite a bit more. I feel like the consistency feels a little bit more oily or like slightly greasy on this side versus the Dr. Jart one is totally dried down now and I can kind of feel the difference on my hands a little bit so I just wanted to point that out in case you were curious my overall thoughts about this particular sunscreen the branding on their website looked very outdoorsy which definitely explains their like sport ready water resistant all those kinds of mentioning um, of more active activities on their packaging I feel like this kind of reminded me of the Dr. Jart sunscreen, but the consistency was a little thicker, like I mentioned. However, I do feel like if I was wearing this for an active activity, I wouldn't really care as much about like having a white cast or anything like that like I would be outside hiking or doing something active probably like sweating all the sunscreen off anyway and so yeah I feel like in that case like I don't necessarily mind that I just wanted to mention that in case you're curious but that is just based on my personal preference all right so the last sunscreen that I'll be mentioning in this video is this one by hero this is the hero cosmetics super light sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 30 this is in the same size as the Dr. Jart in a 1.69 fluid ounce uh, container and the active ingredient here is zinc oxide. So the price point for this product is $19.99. This is the most affordable product out of the bunch. I feel like the packaging looks super modern with this clear cap on the lid and like this cute mint green um, tube. This is the only sunscreen out of the three that has a pump function in order to get the sunscreen out. Everything else is like your typical tube that you would just squeeze the product out of. One thing I will mention is that this lid comes off very easily there were a few times when I picked up the sunscreen and the lid just fell right off into the sink so that's just something that I want to mention the lid is not super secure I'm not sure that I would trust to put this in my purse this lid doesn't stay on too secure you can very lightly just move it around and it comes right off like that but I do feel like it's okay if it's just kind of like sitting on your countertop or in your vanity cabinet area so I think I already mentioned that the size of this is is a 1.69 fluid ounce just like the Dr. Jart SPF is 30 and how I found this um, ads on social media <laughs> I feel like I've been seeing this brand talk a little bit more about like little pimple patches and things like that and so that's kind of what 
drew me to check it out. I did see this and some of their other products as well, like a mist spray and this other um, like balm that you can put on your face to kind of prevent you from breaking out, from wearing a mask and things like that. So there are definitely some other interesting products in this line, but we're talking about mineral sunscreens, so that's the reason why I picked this up. So my overall thoughts on this, let me show you what it looks like. I thought it was interesting because there is a green tint. I'll just move down my arm there's a green tint to this product and on their website they talk about how if you have some redness on your face um, this might help to cancel it out a little bit i can't confirm if you know that works or not because i don't really have a lot of redness on my face and I kind of put a little too much on my arm there but that's how the product works in there's also no white cast or anything on my arm I do feel like the consistency is more similar to the Dr. Jart I feel like it is a lightweight sunscreen and I just want to point out that there is a very light scent on it it kind of makes me feel like it's a powdery smell but that's probably not the best description for it I wouldn't call it distracting necessarily. I am someone who is a little bit more sensitive to scents, especially with products that I put on my face because I, it's just closer and I can smell it. Um, it did surprise me a little bit in the beginning, but it's not necessarily bothersome. I just needed to get used to it a little bit. I do feel like the name Super Light Sunscreen is you know descriptive of the product i feel like it is very lightweight and it absorbs quickly into the skin so i can see how they came up with this name so now that we've gone over these three different sunscreens in more detail i did want to share some overall thoughts with you about what i think what i probably will be using this for etc so like i mentioned i do see myself using this one from kinfeld for more like outdoor activities if i'm going hiking walking my dog things like that. This is where I see myself using a sunscreen like this. As you probably noticed when I demonstrated earlier, this takes a little bit more working into the skin. So when I did try to use it on my face, um, I did need to put in a little bit more effort to get it to absorb. And that's probably the reason why I would use it for more of those outdoor activities where I don't care as much about what I look like. Um, however, I have used these two in the office. So I think I mentioned in previous videos that normally on the regular, I don't really wear a lot of makeup. The most makeup that I wear is on camera like right now. So my skincare routine is really what works for me or does the work for me during the week when I'm working either from home or in the office. And I don't normally use a tinted moisturizer or foundation on a daily basis when I'm going into work. So I have just used these sunscreens on my face directly and it did my eyebrows and put on some mascara before going in, but this is all that I had on my face and I felt totally comfortable doing that. Both of these worked really well into the skin and didn't leave any sort of you know residue or anything like that i didn't feel self-conscious wearing this into the office um, i thought it looked totally fine and natural out of all of them which one would i say is my favorite it's probably going to be this dr jar one right here i really like the packaging i really like the consistency i did feel like it was my favorite out of these three right here and i think it is more in a line with what i normally would buy because it is an spf 50 versus the others are 30 and 35. I can definitely see myself repurchasing this in the future, but like I mentioned, I am interested in trying out some other mineral sunscreens as well. All right, everyone. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful and you enjoyed and learned a little bit more about these different mineral sunscreen options that I've tried. I know it took me a little while to get this video up, so thank you so much for your patience and for allowing me to do a little bit more research and take the time to test out these different products before I talk about them because at the end of the day, I think it's really important to be a little bit more familiar with the items that I talk about before I share information with you all. If you've tried any other mineral sunscreens, let me know down in the comments below. Maybe one of those might be another one I might be interested in. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!